What's up, everybody? It's Butch from Southeast Cichlids. I'm going to show you guys the latest shipment of wild caught Tanganyikan fish that we just got in. Um, sorry, we haven't had uh, more content out lately. It's just been real busy trying to get multiple shipments in. Um, and I've changed around some of my show tanks. Uh, so I will. Uh, start with some new videos soon some of my own personal show tanks to show you guys in between um, actual fish shipment videos uh, anyways these are our wild caught Trophius Kasakalawi um, really really good color on these guys uh, can't really pick it up but their spot in the body is a, a kind of an orange orangey type spot orange and yellow called the pineapple trophius uh, because of the color in that spot and they have a really nice uh, dorsal fin also um, got a lot of these guys uh, males and females so shoot me an email if you have interest in wild Kaskalawi. Wild Erat Modus. The gobies. Super cool. Little guys of nice blue polka dots. Uh, these are biparental. Male and female will carry and take care of the young. Super cool little guys. They use their front fins to uh, walk, crawl around on the on the bottom, whatever you want to call it. I call it walking. I've had these guys eating uh, spirulina flake. Just got them on uh, some north fin veggie the past few days and they're starting to really put on some weight. Super cool you're at modus. <clears throat> Wild Julia Chromis Regani and Sumbu. Got several of these in, good size. Three, three and a half inch on some of the larger ones and two and a half inch on the smaller which would be females nice size male there uh, Trophius Colombo there's also some uh, Chetika males a few of those in this tank but uh, the Colombo have the nice yellow spot in the side. That male is really fired up. A wild caught. Lampologus brevis. Got a bunch of these little guys. Super cool. Uh, last time I only got like 20 or so of the wild caught brevis, and this time I got 100. So uh, I have plenty to go around this time. Uh, looks like I got a, a better assortment of male to females. Other tank of them here. That guy's getting some nice yellow right behind his eye. Not a whole lot of color on these right now. Uh, as they settle in, you put them in sand, get them some shells. Uh, and they get uh, some nice uh, subtle markings uh, as well as a little color. 
not super flashy, but a really neat and fun fish to keep uh, because of the behavior in the shells that they live in and breed in and raise our babies in. Benthochromus tricotti. Got a lot of these guys in. Um, I put a really bright light on this tank, which they don't like too much, so they're hanging in this corner. Uh, but I wanted to really try to pick up the color. Uh, so these males are, some of them are 7 inch. Really nice. Really, really cool fish. Love the tricotti. As you can see, the yellow is really coming in. Uh, the stripes are really coming in. And their fins are looking really good. We have males and females. And just remember, you want a decent sized tank. I wouldn't do anything smaller than a 180 for these. You get away with smaller short term, but long term I wouldn't try it. Not because they're aggressive, they just, they, they really like a big tank. A lot of open space. More Chakati in this tank with no light. Also got a pair of Gnatochromus promaxialis, which is pretty cool. Had fun watching them sift through the sand. I'm gonna try to get more of these in uh, each each shipment. They're very hard to catch, very hard to collect. But I think I can expect at least a pair every shipment, hopefully more. Cyathopharynx foi canoni. Uh, there's also a Nasuda in here, but um, the others are foi. <clears throat> um, could probably split this into two groups of uh, two males, four females, something like that. Or if you wanted to take uh, all of them, you know, that's cool too. It would make a really nice group. Uh, we got some males sheening with uh, good color, uh, right about the size where they're going to be uh, ready to start breeding. Uh, super nice foi. Trophius uh, lefubu, purple rainbow. <clears throat> really nice fish. Really nice trophius. Once a uh, really color up. Males and females all in the Lafubu. Trophius, Kasanga Red Rainbow, super nice, good size, three, three and a half inch. Just so nice, really, really nice. All time favorite Trophius. And you can imagine how these would look in a tank uh, with white sand, uh, more rocks, uh, more uh, natural environment for these guys. Uh, they would look even better than they look now in a bare bottom tank with uh, box filters and a basic uh, Beamsworth LED. You 
set your tank up right at home with the right filtration and aquascaping and lighting and I promise you these will blow your mind. Couple more Julies in this tank and uh, one big nice pair of Compressasep Redfin. A nice male back there. A little female poking out right back there. Trophius Molero Red. I'll just do some food in here to try to get them fired up a little bit so you can see the red. Again, if you could picture these uh, in a tank with white sand on the bottom, they really, really pop. The red is super duper intense um, in the dorsal as well as in the body. Really, really nice Trophius. Love the red and black. And it's a, a real red, you know? A lot of times in African cichlid terms, red means orange or even yellow. But with the Trophius Molero, uh, red, red is red. It's like fire red. And they get the red in the body too. Uh, on top of the black. Really, really nice. Uh, these are not for sale, they were special ordered. This is what they call the, the, the Black Widow Frontosa. Not that one swimming by. That's a Katumba. That's a Katumba on the bottom. But the crazy spotted, crazy marked Frontosa, uh, that's what they call the Black Widow. It's a line bred man-made fish, uh, where as you can see, they make a mess of the stripes. But some people like that. Some people like the unusual. They were available. So my customer jumped on them. These are still the Frontosa Timboy that we got in several shipments ago that people have just not jumped on. I think perhaps because of the lake spots, but it is a spectacular group of fish. The blues, super intense and the lake spots give them character, in my opinion. And again, lake spots are not hereditary. Their offspring will not have lake spots. Got a decent ratio of male to females. So hit me up if you are interested. I think that's all I got to show you today on the new Tanganyikan fish. Uh, I can tell you we are getting another uh, Tanganyikan shipment in next week. Uh, will be Trophius Red Rainbow, uh, Neolamprologus Daffodil, Benthochromus Tricotti, and Compressacep Goldhead that are really, really nice. Uh, all of the fish I just mentioned are all super nice uh, they just arrived from the lake fresh from the lake super healthy look really really good so I'm gonna bring those in next week so thanks for watching 
southeastcichlids.com. Uh, if you have any questions or want to place an order, you can do so on the site, or you can contact uh, Andrea, sales at southeastcichlids.com. Some of y'all may have had some interaction with Andrea, um, and if you haven't, She's helping out now, uh, doing all the customer service and replying to email messages and Facebook. So it's been really good uh, because I have not always had the time to dedicate to that. And Andrea is really, really good at it. She'll take care of you. Sales at SoutheastSickles.com. Follow us on Instagram. Facebook, and of course YouTube. So until next time, we'll see you later.